Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So you see on the screen, we have the word liquidate. And you're probably thinking, oh, you mean like liquidate your business, sell some things downsize. Maybe a business might be going under. Many startups are. Traveling to a place a little further out. I'm like, when does Taco Bell shut down? Mom and Pop Restaurant, Taco Bell, CVS, huh? Shut down. Startup shutting down. Um, this is the politicians are saying and doing nothing. So yeah, I did the video and I spoke about um a lot of people. What we're seeing is basically a civilized silent purge and it's happening now people are liquidating but hold on they're not liquidating their businesses i don't mean that no people are liquidating their lives yeah people are liquidating their lives i'm talking about as i mentioned before a silent purge people lose a job you can't find a replacement income the what is this unemployment money that's temporarily temporary there is no stimulus packet, nothing for the American people, just to keep on working and paying taxes. But how can you do that when you're going to lose your job? Just this year, I saw a video. There are, I can't believe, in just tech, 250,000 people laid off in the tech industry. Wow. Just in tech. Layoffs still coming way for eBay, Twit, Google. Oh, good. You found another job, replacement income. Yeah, even those aren't lasting. I've heard people, oh, I found a new job. I was I thought I was going to be good, and now it's three months later, and I'm gone. Well, I was only there for one month, and I'm gone. People are applying for jobs, 10, 12 resumes, some sitting, and sometimes that's in one day. And you're thinking, okay, I put out that many resumes. I'm going to hear something, hearing nothing. But maybe that you didn't get the job. So people are liquidating their lives. As I said before, we're looking at a, what I think is going to be a silent purge. People are selling things right now in their home. I just saw a post where a young a woman says she lost a job, couldn't find replacement income. She's pretty much sold a whole lot of valuables in her home. She's already sold them. So what's next? Your TV, your art, clothing, shoes, designer shoes, bags. It can get that bad. It can get that bad. People are liquidating their lives. Sell, just like I said, selling things in their home. And so then if nothing changes and you can't find another job, I guess you're going to do pretty much just sell everything. Next thing you know, can't afford the home, the condo, apartment, whatever it is. You're going to do what? Live in your car? People are liquidating their lives. I picked up the phone and asked a friend of mine, what's going on? I know a person who has access, oh, to people worth, man, tens of millions of dollars, you know? And I think, he's like, one or two of them might be, uh, I mean, they're like worth hundreds of, it's like crazy, insane amount of money. So, okay. But the people that he knows, let's say on average, and he knows worth five or six million dollars. Okay. He got a heck of a hookup. And he told me some discouraging news about his business. And I felt bad. I just, I'm like, I'm paused. Like what? So the good thing is he knows how to invest, you know, so he's been investing. Okay. So he said, you know, he's just like, I said, Hey, this right here. I said, I got it. I said, I already got a call from someone in Palm Beach who's interested. He's like, you know, hey, whatever, you know. You okay? Not. 
said I might be going I might be going out of business. Well, Kami, you've got the hookup. The big money hookups have stopped. He had some things. I said, hey, I'll make you a deal. What's that mean? Uh, is it Louvre in... Yeah, it's uh, it's spelled... They pronounce it Louvre in Paris, the, the museum. L-O-U-V-R-E. I said, you've got some little all work. I'm like, I said, hey, look at the bottom of it. I'm like, wow. Just despondent. I'm like, wow, okay. So I'm thinking, he's like, I might be going out of business, but I'll be okay. I look out, get a few things. So then I go back and check, and later on, it's like a difference in day and night. What I mean by that is, it's like, for those those of you young ladies, especially the mature ones, it's like, Going from shopping, let's say we're going to look at some furniture. Horchow. It's like leaving Horchow and going to the to the swap meet. I mean, at this point, we're not even doing big lots. You understand? Difference in day and night. And I thought, what's going on? W- what about the hookup? The hookups have stopped, people. Talking to somebody else, I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? I guess the rich people are keeping the things to themselves. Maybe they're selling them to somebody else. But the hookup has stopped. The hookup is over. I'm telling you. One location, I checked it out, and it was already closed down. I didn't say anything. already closed down so that means the workers that are there they're more than likely of course you know out of a job already closed down again and then i checked out i saw he's got another little store location let me go see what that's all about yeah um it's sad Again, it's just like going, it's a big drop. It's like, I mean, you you might as well just say, uh, uh, what, what the, say swap meet place. You might as well. A big drop just like that. So if he's got a big drop like that in the merchandise, what kind of money you expect? You, you're not, nobody's paying whore child prices at the swap meet. I don't care how cute your little chair might be. No one's doing that. I'm like, where, where's the merchandise? Merchandise is not there. The merchandise people is not there. So I don't know if the rich friends, done, if they're keeping it and maybe selling it. All I know is not there. So basically, and he has like, ooh, he's got like maybe eight people out of two locations, two stores. He's got like, um, Oh, I'd say about about eight or nine people because one guy floats. So like four over here and four over there. And then you have a guy that uh, that pretty much like floats like, hey, you know what? I need you over here this day or, you know, go to the other location. It's, it's that bad. Again, where's the, I'm like, where's the merchandise? I call somebody else the same thing. I'm like, hey, what is going on? Um, I don't understand. What in the world is going on? Is uh, uh is everyone just keeping their n- n- what's what's up? Even side hustles going wrong. So if you look around, you got the small business, you got the big companies, Google, they're laying off. They laid off more than one, Twitch, uh, Amazon. Laying off smile the red club. Bye bye. And I thought that stock was gonna be a winner. Not. You've got startups. Some I can't believe the numbers. Hundreds of millions of dollars put into the startup, and yeah, it just didn't quite quite happen. Not gonna happen. Get game over. Get, get game over. So the big guys are laying off. 
you saw Levi, if you saw my, my last video, Levi laying off, the big guys laying off. Oh, California, separate video. Minimum wage increase. Yeah, people thought, oh my gosh, I work at a fast food and I'm going to get 20 bucks an hour. And guess what? You can't even work and you're not because they have to let some people go. Even laying off the drivers. Oh, and also, too, for some people who get that 20 bucks an hour in California, guess what? It's not a 40 hour work week. You might get 25, 30 hours, and it's not consistent. Mom and Pop, they're not loaning out any money to small businesses. Layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. Side, I mean, it's this is crazy. People, people's lives are changing before their lives, and this is just, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Lives are changing just like that. And it's not going well. People flush with cash. It's that bad. It is that bad. So people, you hear about people selling their things in their homes? What happens when you sell everything and there's nothing left? And then out of that, hiccup, whatever income you do have, that ends. Then what? And all the taxpayer money, it looks like it's going out to benefit everybody but the taxpayer. Make it make sense. All the money in the green, uh, new the green deal, and all of that. What are jobs at? The money. What what are the jobs at? But money been earmarked. Some money's been given out. Or the jobs. This is frightening. It's very frightening. They're saying half the people in America don't have a thousand dollars. Some stuff I have to turn off because it's too much. It's depressing. People are liquidating their lives. I have a neighbor. Well, he drives a nice Hummer. So then one day I saw him and his, uh, I, th I thought somebody was visiting. So one day I saw him at his place and he had like a, um, a little okay vehicle. I mean, I have an older vehicle, but you know, I kind of put a little change into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I keep, keep it up, sound system and all that fun stuff, you know, paint job and, you know, little, little things like that. So, you know, that, that that's like, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of a tomboy. So, you know, that's me. I actually have, uh, believe it or not, I have, um, uh, 07 vehicle and we call it the fun vehicle. I mean, me and a friend of mine, you know, it's like, you know, um, I just, I like to do fun stuff like that. Besides, again, I'm a tomboy sound systems and, you know. Uh, hey, we can watch a movie in the vehicle. That kind of, you know, just just no, nothing major, but just little stuff like that. You know, and it's like, wow, this is a fun vehicle. You know, I'm like, yeah, and it's like, you know, hit the road and boom, we're on it. So yeah, I'm like, you know, that I put a little change into it. So that that's me, my personality. So I saw the neighbor, and I said, that's a, I said, I must be kind of visit. That's kind of a rinky dink, you know, rinky dink vehicle, like really, really rinky dink. I think he sold his Hummer because I haven't seen it in about, about a month. And the rinky-dink vehicle is not somebody visiting, is his vehicle. Oh, wow. People are liquidating their lives. Women, I'm you know, you hear things, selling their jewelry or having to take a look at it. People are selling things out of their house and i don't mean for ebay or etsy they're liquidating their lives because they need the money and it's not to go on a vacation or you know i just didn't really want it you know what i'm saying no it's to survive to pay for the food the light bill the rent the insurance the car the gas the oil changes maybe to have some money in my pocket
the silent purr. This is happening so fast. This is a nightmare, people. This is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. It is a wonder everybody's keeping this crap together. This is crazy. It's a nightmare happening before our very eyes. And you don't think the powers that be know what's going on the politicians? They don't. I, they don't. What else? What else can you say that they really care? Don't delude yourself. They don't, from what I can see. Yeah, but what about the immigrants? Paying for the wars. And don't forget, once you turn up stuff in water, you got to pay to go fix it back. People are liquidating their lives. And it'll be very bad, especially for the BC, because guess what? We don't have like an inheritance, things like that. And the only reason, speaking for myself, the only reason I have an inheritance is because a mother, the what they said, a brother from another mother, is 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 not on my side. Only because somebody took a liking to me and like family two pieces, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason. I've seen people, especially Caucasian people, I was like, wow, down on their luck, you know, it's like, oh my goodness, you'd be surprised. People living in mansions got a problem. Then boom, what happened? Oh, well, you know, unfortunately, his father had died, uh huh. And when he died, he left him seven million dollars. Oh, you're gonna be all right. What everybody did know is that last week, guess what? He was wiped out. Wife scared. So we don't have those opportunities. We'd be so most of us, and we can't even count on an inheritance of, of $15,000. That would be a shocker, to be honest, in the BC. But all around, and not that I'm saying every Caucasian person does, though, but I'm saying people like that have money, some of them that they have that opportunity, they have that to fall back on. Because trust me, one thing about inflation. It doesn't discriminate. Either you have money, the, the resources, or you don't. Inflation does not discriminate. But people are liquidating their lives. And it's scary. And the things you see, people used to be flush with cash. I remember I said, I was like, man, let me check my, huh. So, Used to have this amount. Uh oh, inflation will eat up at it. A friend of mine's like, you know what? I spent a hundred thousand dollars last year, and it's like, on what? On your expenses and on your lifestyle. One hundred thousand dollars. Lifestyle expenses. Can't do that anymore. Myself, I remember. I already had earmarked, tell you the truth, $100,000 cash, uh, not anymore. You want a bit, not anymore. Oh, but all times, yeah, that seemed like a good idea at the time. Not anymore, I don't. No. Self-employed too, different things went on. And aside from that, and I and I will say, you know, I had a, um, I have had a, um, uh, injury deal and all that going on but you know i'll recoup from that so that that's a different part but that's a different part too i mean i you know like i said the incubation thing that alone was forty thousand dollars for one week you know what i'm saying but yo that, that that really helps me out so i can relate again people are liquidating not, not just their businesses the liquidating their lives trying to stay afloat so stop and think what's going to happen when there's nothing more to liquidate what's going to happen if there's just a little hiccup in the road silent purge and i guess they expect us to go ahead and just obey the rules and hey if you don't have anything or any money 
on. No income. You can't find a job. You think so? I guess just liquidate your life. See as long as you can. And then maybe stay in your car. Hope it's paid for. Because you know what? It's not uncommon for people to live in their car. And then a car is still money still owed on that. And a car get repossessed. As they're living in their car. Come out. The car gone. So all your things. And then, well, you think they're going to be honest and go, oh, well, hey, your things are here. Yeah, they'll probably go through. I don't trust I don't trust anybody. I don't trust the tow truck driver. None of them. People are liquidating their lives. Again, the silent purge, it's not going to last for long. Because then people are going to stop and think and get mad. Where's the hell for them? Who is there to assist the American? Nobody. So yeah, I'm talking about liquidate. I don't mean a business. People are doing that too, but they're also liquidating their lives. It's bad all around. For the worker bee, for the self-employed, it's bad. If half Americans don't have a thousand, a lot of us saying four hundred dollars. People put money into the bank. Okay, what's the what's the problem with a bank that rhymes with ace? What's with these reports? Uh, people making these deposits and gotta keep asking where's my money? No, 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 no. What what's the problem? Makes me wonder is there is there a banking is there a banking issue? What's really going on? They're saying no recession. Wall Street only looks good because they're laying off people. So I expect, you know, we'll see if if Google is going to be an earnings beat or miss. But since Google is laid off, and that's just one company, and I am I am a shareholder. Um, of course, it'll be good. I'm expecting it's going to be an earnings beat, not a miss. I'm hoping for earnings beat. But if it's an earnings beat, don't forget how many people lost their jobs. So the shareholders, yay, yay. But how many people lost their jobs? And I think when companies do that, typically they have an earnings beat. We're going to see. You never know. It might be a miss. But typically, when they lay off people, they're cutting overhead, cutting the fat, putting somebody's life out out of whack. But hey, that's what it is. So avoiding a recession, we're in one. I think it's a silent depression. I think we are dealing with a civilized silent purge. This is not sustainable and there are no solutions in sight. No one seems to care. No, who's doing what to help the Americans? I don't see it. Anyway, let me stop this video. I'm sorry, it's a little longer than I anticipated. But people... I know some of you are busy and it's going well for you and I'm so happy and I hope it continues. And for those who it's not going well, I hope it gets better. I just, I'm hoping for us all peace, health and prosperity. But life is changing before our very eyes and it's not nice. It's like, you got to be kidding me. No one is safe. I'm hearing people who have stores, online stores, uh, No one is safe. Business owners, you're not safe. I have my own business. It's not safe. No guarantee. Working for somebody, not safe. There's no safety net for the American. We are basically on our own. No one's saying to do anything to help the American. And we're not asking for, I'm just saying to survive, for people to maintain a decent place to live. How about to maintain a place to live? affordable rent but we're spending billions of dollars on illegal immigrants oh no matter of fact hundreds of billions of dollars on illegal immigrants they're saying it's going to cost um i'm going to check to verify we're having a conversation how the heck you saying it cost 125 million dollars for illegal immigrants in chicago so how long was that going to last
meantime, in between time, all the tax money going out, Americans are not only losing their jobs, they're liquidating their businesses, the startups are shutting down, people are liquidating their lives. Offer up Craigslist. People li- taking things to pawn shops. They are liquidating their lives. It's like pressing the pan. It's time to press the panic button. But the politicians, they don't. They don't hear it. They don't care. If they do care, somebody, please show me. You've got the email. Go decompress at gmail.com. I, I'm sorry. Go decompress at google.com. People are liquidating their lives, just trying to survive, and I'm out.